what is going to happen with Aaron Rodgers? Now, obviously, we talked about this last offseason quite a bit. Will he retire? Will he force a trade, etc.? This year, it makes it a little bit easier, but also the relationships in Green Bay have been reportedly significantly improved, right? At least we are told that. Now, there's a lot of things that they got to figure out about the roster because they are way, way over the salary cap. I've gotten a ton of DMs asking me about this on Twitter, and I don't know if you've had the same thing, and I don't know what to think about this. A lot of people believe, and we're going to talk about the Broncos here in a minute, but a lot of people think he might be headed to the Broncos with uh, Nathaniel Hackett. Maybe. I mean, who knows? There's any number of teams where he could go, uh, but his cap hit, I believe, for next year is is still sizable. That's so, going to be huge. Give me your thoughts. Yeah. No, I, 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 well, but he was, Broncos were like the number one pick for him last year, right? Right. Like, and you've already talked about he was, that roster. That's where we loaded. all thought he was going to go last year. And, and Green Bay just said, we're not trading him. And then they reworked the deal for the purpose of giving them flexibility to trade him. So, yeah, I think that's still a major, major possibility. I can't imagine him coming back to Green Bay. The problem is, is if you're Green Bay, what do you do? So, like, more than Rodgers, I almost don't care what Rodgers does anymore, right? Like, like yeah. this guy has been a diva his entire life. Uh, all that offseason, the entire media just blew this guy's hog every day talking <laughs> about how gra- how smart he is and how Green Bay is 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 the problem and Aaron is 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 a godlike figure and nobody should ever question him. And then, God, he doesn't align with our COVID thoughts. And now – He's the worst person on earth, and he's a piece of trash, and we don't want anything to do with him. I I find that entertaining, and and I find that a little funny. So, been on record, don't like this guy for a long time. Great football player, piece of trash person. I I think he's probably gone, and I don't really care where he lands. I think wherever he lands, they're going to be real, real good at football. Oh, yeah. And if he goes to a place like like the uh, the the Broncos, that's going to make that division pretty damn interesting, you know? Uh, yes, uh, him and Patrick uh, Mahomes in the same division. Uh, uh, Justin Herbert. Don't, yeah, I mean, listen, yeah, Herbert too. All the best quarterbacks are now in the AFC. And then okay? we still got to see what uh, what the Raiders do. Yeah, all listen, all, all the best quarterbacks are in the AFC right now. How okay? dare you belittle the name of Matthew Stafford? Listen, all <laughs> the best quarterbacks are in the AFC right now. Everybody in the world would take Patrick Mahomes over Stafford. Everybody in the world would take Josh Allen over Stafford. They would all take Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert over Stafford. They would all take them over him. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, all you're not the best wrong. Quarterbacks. The two the two guys holding up the 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 NFC are both in their 40s and mid to late 30s, okay? True. True. All right. Name a young guy that's that's in the NFC that's carrying the water. Dak. We talking Dak? Is that it? Is that your answer to the problem? <laughs> I mean, I guess. And we we're, we're gonna we're gonna hit on the Cowboys in a little bit, but but anyway, I mean, I, maybe, I'm more interested in like, where where Green Bay goes because I don't believe Love is ready either, and that's that's just gonna be one of those situations where does the front office own up to okay, made a mistake with Love, we got to go back to the well. Are they in the running for a Wilson, or do they try their hand with a guy like a, a Jimmy G? Like, hey, let's just have a couple of years with a stopgap guy that can that can just kind of keep us above water for a little bit, and then let's see what we can do elsewhere. I don't know. And that's that's an interesting question uh, as far as the NFC quarterbacks. So NFC East, you got Dak, and then who knows what Washington is going to look like? I would imagine that they draft somebody this year. I, I would imagine. Got, got to, right? Got to. Got to. Jalen Hurts, Daniel Jones. Everybody knows how we feel about those. You got Brady with the Bucks right now. I but mean, he can't count. Like, him and Rodgers yeah. just can't count. They're both at the very end of their career. Yes. Matt Ryan, Sam Darnold, Jameis Winston, or Taysom Hill. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> That's a hell, that is a hell of a run right there, boys. You got the Bears with Justin Fields, I guess, because I wouldn't imagine that Andy he Dalton goes he in as number one. He ain't ready either. He ain't ready either. You saw that guy play. 
Oh yeah, I know. He's a know. he's a long way from being ready, and they just hired a defensive coach to to lead him. That which is that insane. OC that OC hire is going to be the most important hire in Bears franchise history for the next five to ten years. I can't believe they didn't go out. We'll talk about it in a minute, but Jared Goff, Kirk Cousins, and we'll see whether those guys are still there. You got Russell Wilson, you got Kyler Murray, you got Matt Stafford, and you got Jimmy G or Trey Lance. I'll take all NFC. those guys I named in the AFC over every one of those. I even left Lamar off. Holy yeah. shit, how'd I do that? Uh, yeah, I mean, you got Burrow, you got uh, Lamar, and then whatever the Steelers end up doing, uh, we'll see about Baker next year. Uh, you got Herbert? Oh, no, Baker's Baker's Ooh. Baker's lumped in with the rest of those goons in, uh, in the, the NFC. <laughs> Well, they're not bums, but but they can have a great game. They can have a bad game, but they're they're at the end of the year they're just average. All those True. guys are just average. Uh, AFC South. I, I didn't even think about this. Ryan oh, Tannehill, Carson bad, Wentz, just trash. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, trash. and then Deshaun Watson or Tyrod Taylor. If if we ever see Deshaun again, well, Wa- Watson Watson gets to be a major factor if he ever touches the field yeah. again. And then you got he's elite. You got a uh, Josh Allen, uh, Mac Jones, Zach Wilson, and Tua. So yeah, yeah. I, right now, yeah. Josh Allen is 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 cream of the crop, and those other guys are possible potential, but I think all going to be just kind of okay. True, true. Do you think is there any chance you you think Aaron Rodgers could if if Tom Brady does not go to San Francisco? Does he find uh, he a way could to do that? Him? No, he could try that. The problem with Rodgers is well, no, there's no problem there. I I, I mean, they were one of the two last year. That were in, it was the Broncos and, and the 49ers that were in consideration for Rodgers. Okay. So that wouldn't surprise me. That wouldn't shock me. No, I could see that. But those are the two landing spots that I think he's going to end up being, by the way. That's yeah. if I had to put money on it or wager on it, I think it's one of those two places. That would make sense. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.